passers-by are reflected in a TV screen reporting news about North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un and their missile launch in Tokyo, Japan, September 15, 2017. Source writers say Kato South Korea has urged its northern neighbor to honor all bilateral agreements and steps towards peace, while Pyongyang accused it of escalating tensions along the border. Wednesday was the 10th anniversary of an agreement reached during a second ever bilateral meeting between the Koreas, in which then leaders President Roh Moo Hyun and North Korea's Kim Jong Jil pledged to cooperate upon ending hostilities and military confrontation. North Korea should respect all existing agreements between the South and the North and come forward to a path advancing peace on the Korean Peninsula, said an official from South Korea's Unification Ministry as quoted by the state media agency Yonhap. The two countries have technically been at war since the 1950s. A South Korean soldier stands guard as a North Korean flag flutters on top of a tower at the propaganda village of Gajungdong in North Korea, in this picture taken near the truce village of Panmunjom, South Korea, September 28, 2017. Source writers Kim Hong Ji see also North Korea appears to be preparing for war tensions have been running high on the peninsula amid a war of words between U.S. President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Trump has repeatedly issued warnings to Pyongyang, threatening to bring fire and fury and to totally destroy North Korea if need be. The president has also repeatedly mocked Kim, referring to him in Twitter tirades as Little Rocket Man. North Korean newspaper Rodong Sinmin on Wednesday blamed Seoul for heightened tensions, writing that the danger of a nuclear war on the Korean peninsula is rising at an extreme rate, even though 10 years has passed since the historic October 4 declaration was announced. The South Korean puppets are deepening the disruption of the North-South relations and further escalating the danger of a nuclear war. South Korea also suggested on Wednesday that it is looking to revise its 2012 free trade agreement with the U.S. Topics covered Korean Peninsula North Korea Nuclear War South Korea Trump World War III